Right. A mixed number is when there's a whole part and every rational part. It's not simplified, so it's. Yeah, so if the top is bigger than the bottom, it's not bigger times the whole number plus the. Right. If you want to convert from a mix to a proper, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's answer. Okay, got it. All right, guys, let me catch up to you. I, so hopefully you guys realize that one and two are intimately related, right? So the way you say it in words is the way you write it as a fraction. It's kind of nifty. So this, of course, you would say as three tenths. I like it. Three tenths. This would be what now? 21 thousands. Thousands. Oh, so much writing. Now this is interesting. How do you write a check? If it's a whole plus cents, you would say blah, 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 and so many cents. So that's the and means where the decimal is. So this would be 12. And seven ten thousands. I love it. So twelve and seven ten thousands. Seven ten thousands. That's cool. How's that? I like it. Um. So you do the same, you actually start the same idea. So it's uh, in the, so 51 hundreds. Cool. So this, of course, is just, yeah, this is in the tenth spot. I love it. Two tenths. Which you, you know, you can reduce, but no, let's not worry about it. Now, there are two ways to do this. So you can do like we did here. You can say one and 341 Thousands. thousands, is that cool? Tens, hundreds, thousands. But it's the same thing as 1341 thousands. Those are the same. Because how do you make this a thousand times one is a thousand plus 341 is 1341? These are the same thing. It's just a mixed number and a. That's, a, that's the mixed number version and that's the improper fraction version. So either answer's okay? Either answer's okay. Unless I say leave answer in a certain form, right? And then this guy could do the same idea. This would be a little disgusting, though. Hopefully, you guys understand with all these zeros there. I'd rather write it as 20 and tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Woo! If you write it all like this, it would be two zero, 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 four over hundred thousand. That's not to slightly prefer to write these as mixed numbers. I like it. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, then, of course, I had to throw a rounding problem at you. Because rounding doesn't, the idea, the process of rounding doesn't give a shit that we have decimals. Right? And you're all like, I know math doesn't give a shit about me. But what I mean is the process doesn't change. So what, which number is in the tenth spot? The three. The three. The next number is a five, so I'm going to round this oh. up. 14.4. It's not going to stay at 3. It's going to go up to 4. Yes, sir. Could you just put the zeros? Or you... you could. I mean, you could put the zeros, but you see why they're not necessary, right? Yeah. Is that cool? You don't need to, but if you did, I'm not going to take points off. Slightly preferred to write that, but if you put the zeros in, it's the same. Mathematically, it's the same number. Thousandth place, right? So which number's in the thousandth place? Thousandth. Eight. That's hundreds of thousands. The next number is a three, so I'm going to leave it 14.358. And if you put a zero, that's okay. Again, it's a little bit preferred not to because it's extra, extra stuff you don't need. Hundredth place. The five, the next number is an eight, so I'm going to take that to six. So that'll be 14.36. I like it. 
the zeros in again. Blah, blah, blah. So I desperately, if you remember why things work the way they do, it's less memorization and more just, well, this is the way it makes sense. When I add and subtract, I have to have like terms. So the decimal must be lined up so all my like terms get lined up, all my tenths, all my hundredths, all my thousandths. When I multiply and divide, it doesn't matter where shit where, where the decimal is. I don't have to add a zero in here to make it add the same. There's no, that doesn't make any sense. Multiplication division doesn't require like denominators, right? Thankfully, I'm not seeing too many. I'm seeing a little bit of that. But can we do one half times? Uh, let's make it the man. Three fifths. What's one half times three fifths? One half times three fifths. Three tenths. Did you need LCD? Of course not, because you're multiplying across. It doesn't. You don't need LCD. So, so real quick. In an addition subtraction problem, how do I see the idea of LCD is because the decimals all have to be lined up. Then these are the tenths, these are over 10, and these are over 100. Here, I don't need to line the decimals up because I don't need LCD. It's just extra work if you do that. All right. So here, of course, what do you need? Four, zero, four, one. You put the decimal. I like it. It's just, you know, 12 plus 1 is about 13. Why is it more than 13? Because the cents made it, you know, go over the 14 mark. But you, can, you should be able to step back and estimate. If you get 140.4, that's kind of insane. I got 12 bucks. I got 1 buck. We got 140 bucks. Yeah. No, that's... Everybody's there. Okay. So now, over here, uh, this is not too weird of a problem because I got all my places represented. So now I just start... Yeah, to do and then do, 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 do. and then I got one point seven seven four four. Like that was not too bad. The decimal doesn't actually change anything. I just have to make sure that it lines up. And then it actually it's the same thing that it always is: borrowing and going to town. This guy, of course, what has to happen first? And this is where people get. They just put an eight here, and then they start doing eight one. That's Kind of insane. Yeah, so now I need. Sorry, so you're a little insane. It's okay. It's not true insanity if you're aware of it, right? The truly insane don't know they're insane. So you're not truly insane. You're just a little insane. Uh, <laughs> so you get two, zero, and now here I need. So I get two point. 202, I like. Let me stop there for a second. All right. So you know on this test, you know what's going to happen with the test. Again, it's going to be a two-parter. All right. Because i gotta, I got to make sure that part of it is just purely coming from you. All right. No safety net. Just doing it. And then the other part, I'm going to have some more complicated stuff that you can use a calculator to, to check it to make sure you're on the right track. Um, so here. If you put 1.40, you did not have to do that. You just got to start multiplying. So what do I get? 12. Yeah. 9. 9. And then 3, 2. 2. So I get 2. 2. 3. 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Bam. 0 0.322. And again, if I estimate this, this is like 1, if I round it, 1 times 0.2 is about 0.2, it's 0.3, it's bigger because it's a little bit bigger than 1. If I would have thought the answer was 3.2, that would make no sense. 1 times 0.2 is not 3, that's, that's, that doesn't make sense. Yes, sir? It would be okay if we didn't put the 0 in front of you. It would be okay. Two, two. It would be okay. It's just, that's done just to make sure that it doesn't get lost. Okay. Poor little dude. Now here, I just was trying to get you guys, some of you guys might use some process where you put the zeros down, but that's so unnecessary. That's, that's some kind of 4 times some kind of 5, so the answer is going to be some kind of 20. It's just what place is it in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I like it. 
So I don't know, sometimes we get confused when they get to the last number, well then you add zeros. As soon as you keep going, I like it. And now of course, does anybody remember? Normally if I set this up like this, something comes back to you guys. Do you guys remember what you did when you divided by decimals? Anybody? Yes. I solved it, so I don't know what you do right now, right here? Uh, added a zero. Added a zero, how do you mean? Well, because you have to move this over twice. So you got to move this over twice. Does that sound at all familiar? Let me show you why that works. Guys, let me show you why that works. The bottom sucks here because it's not a whole number. Every time I multiply something by 10, what happens to the decimal? It moves over one. Do you guys realize that? Do you guys realize that? So like uh, 1.1 times 10 is 11. Bam. It just moves over one. Because all the places now get multiplied by 10. Let me stop there for a second. Do you guys remember this now? All right, so now watch. I gotta move this over once twice. So I'm actually gonna multiply the bottom by 100. So this moves over once, twice. Well, if I multiply the bottom by 100, I better freaking multiply the top by 100. So the shortcut is, however number of places you gotta move this over to make it a whole number, I do the same thing with the number inside so that it's, the ratio is still legal, it, it still stays the same. And now you just divide like always. So if you wanna rewrite it so it's a little bit prettier. Now I've got this problem. Well, that's gonna be three, 12 minus 12, 3, 12 minus 0, bring the 4 down. 1, 4 minus 0, 0, 0. There. 33, 10. Maybe, 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 maybe. So what I did was I just, I just divided it by 4 and then moved the decimal places over at the end. Oh, I see. But it didn't add an extra 0, so I need to. Oh. So I need to do it like that. Here's kind of another way to look at that same problem. Watch. What is 0.04 as a fraction? Four over ten. Right. And how do I divide by a fraction? I multiply by the reciprocal. Is that cool? I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm just explaining another reason why that works. So that this times 100 is going to be one three two. 4, 0, and I still have divided by 4, and that's what we did. So that's another reason why it works that way. Okay, so that was, that was an overview of the first uh, about two or three sections of chapter 5. Right. So obviously we're going to go back over some of the finer points next time. I think that's... That's yes, enough for today, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all right.